Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. And if you like lifestyle tips from a married working college student, then that is what I post on here. So we are going to go on our Valentine's Day date today. It's actually the 8th, but we just wanted to go early be the Valentine's Day crowd and we got a gift card to a fancy restaurant so I have to dress up fancy and you're gonna be part of that so without further ado let's just jump right on into this video obviously we got some work to do I'm in a sweatsuit and I have oily makeup from today at school and my hair is not great so we're gonna start by curling our hair so let's go to the bathroom. <laughs> I got my curling iron set up and we are gonna get started. And I'm gonna chat a little bit <laughs> while I do that. Hey friends, I got my half hair up and I'm gonna start on the bottom layer. But I just wanted to chat with you guys for funsies and talk about the month of January now that it's February. And I've had one month in my new schedule and it's honestly been great. I'm in like the growing pain of my first month of not working full time and going to school full time. And I am definitely trying to learn how to adjust and create a routine that's good for me. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should because I always post about my daily struggles. And one of my daily struggles right now is freaking my science class. I'm in meteorology and it's so hard. So I'm not doing very well. I was definitely failing everything. And then I reached out to the professor for help and he did not respond. So I complained <laughs> to the like dean or whoever that was in charge and they talked to the professor because enough students had complained and now he's finally emailing us back and talking to us and trying to help us. So I'm just trying to pass, ow, burn myself. I'm just trying to pass because I don't want to fail a dumb science class and have to retake it, especially because I pay for all of my own school. But right now I just spend every waking moment doing homework basically and it's just not fun. So. We are trying to figure it out. We're figuring it out. Another thing that I wanted to talk about was Alec and I's new dynamic shift in our marriage because most of our marriage has been spent only seeing each other in the evenings because I literally would work and go to school all day long and I would get home like at nine and I'd see Alec from like 9 to 12 and then I go to sleep so it was not very much that we'd spend time together because my love language is quality time I just always want to hang out and talk about the day and everything and that is not Alec at all he loves alone time and so we're trying to figure out how to have a better balance the hair is done it looks a little line manish but this definitely will last me until I have to wash my hair again and today is Tuesday and I won't wash my hair till Friday because these curls are so tight that they'll just get looser as the day keeps going. So now we got to do some makeup. I mean I have makeup on but it just needs refreshing. It doesn't look too good. So I wanted to talk about what the Lord has been teaching me about rest because as you know if you follow me on the gram that rest is something that I've been talking about a lot self-care stuff like that I'm doing the self-care challenge for February so if you want to follow along it's on the gram and TikTok but I definitely am doing a lot of stuff for myself related to self-care and rest and just having some discussions with friends and family about it and just trying to figure out the difference between 
society's view of self-care and God's design for rest. And I had this thought that struck me the other day that I thought was really good. And it was that self-care in the way that society defines it is selfish. It's entitled. It's saying, I've worked so hard, so I deserve this time to myself. Self-care in the way that God designed it or to rest means that we are understanding our human limitations and weaknesses and how God made us and just refueling so that we can pour out to other people. Rest is not selfish. Rest is for us to be filled with God and with healthy lifestyle so that in turn we can then pour that out to other people and I feel like that's the differentiation that I'm coming up with right now. I definitely have more thinking and studying to do on this topic but that's just kind of where I'm at and I thought it was really good so I thought I would share it with you and if you have any thoughts about rest um, versus self-care and the difference between the two, let me know because I'd love to know. I'm gonna do the face makeup now. I have 45 minutes, which might be a little bit too early, but I just wanna be ready on time. So that's what we're gonna do. We definitely need some powder because your girl is oily. The last thing I was probably gonna chat to you guys about is just like being okay with changing your routine and changing your schedule. I feel like we think we have to like find our schedule and stick to it, but there's so much room for adjustment and growth if it's not working out for you. One schedule might work for a little bit and it might not work for another season and that's fine. And right now I'm discovering that my old schedule of working on homework on the weekends and doing social media stuff during the week is just not practical. I have way too many assignments to do all of that. So I have to do homework during the week and do social media on the weekends and that is just what my schedule has to be. I feel like we think we have to have it all, t all together all the time and we don't. Nobody has it all together all the time and I'm just your friendly neighborhood gal <laughs> that doesn't have it all together most of the time. Most of the time I'm struggling, most of the time I'm tired, most of the time I'm burnt out, but I'm learning and growing and that's what this channel is for. So you can watch me learn and grow, so fun stuff. <laughs> I'll show the fit after I get ready. And Alex not even here yet. He has to get home from work still. But once he gets home, then we're going to go on our fancy date. We have a reservation at 545 because that's how fancy it is. And I don't know what we're going to do after that, but we got to find something cool to do for Valentine's Day. Here is all of it. <laughs> this is American Eagle, American Eagle. Just some tights and... These heels are super old from Tilly's. I don't really love this sweater skirt situation right here. I don't know what to do with it. But that's the look. So now it's time for the date. <laughs> birthday was a little bit ago and it's Valentine's Day coming up so we might as well. My second birthday is tomorrow. I'll explain later. <laughs> Whoa bro, look at you smiling like that. <laughs> Me. Or too embarrassing to go to fancy places. Alec was trying to text our waitress. <laughs> Without any context, that is. Uh... And I dropped my knife at a fork. This is one of our favorite places to get ice cream, even though it's not very fancy. But we came here because Alec wanted to. And there's lots of. Sorry, I'll talk to you later. Bye.
from his horse. I got to take a picture, but it's yummy. Very yummy. Is yours yummy, Alan? Mm -hmm.